good morning. Today I am going into London to attend a couple of meetings, a couple of events, so I thought I'd take you with me. So today's upload is a vlog. So I'm in the car because my husband Thomas is taking me to the train station. And for once we're not rushing, we are usually late, aren't we? Yeah, it's been a bit of a smoother start to the day. Yeah, so um, that's the plan today. And then we're gonna meet um, Crystal. <laughs> uh, then I'm going to meet Crystal, Tommy's sister, my sister-in-law um, and we are going to one of the events to give out or two of the events to give out and we might even get some dinner so I'll take you along and we will see how the day goes so I have a lunch meeting first with a lady called Maz from Black and White Comms. She's such a beautiful person. So I'm off to Marlebone in London to go to Granger & Co to meet her for a light lunch because I have a afternoon tea with Laura Mercier to follow. So it can't be anything too heavy. So as some of you know, I am from Essex. I'm around 40 minutes from London. So I am coming straight into Liverpool Street. I'm then gonna go and get the Elizabeth line and that's gonna take me to Bond Street and then I'm gonna walk from there to Marlebone. This is Marlebone. I'm gonna to go to Granger & Co now for lunch and I didn't actually show much of lunch because we got a bit carried away chatting. But I am gonna show you some of the amazing products that Maz brought me from Black & White Cons. These are the brands that they represent. This is Mantor, which is a Swedish brand. It's completely new to me. And they're a skincare brand that's elevated by organically grown CBD. This is their green mask that's enriched with matcha. It's got fermented honey, salicylic acid, CBD, and it's great for congested skin. This next one also by Mantle is called The Tree and this is great if you suffer with breakouts because it prevents you getting those breakouts, it prevents redness in the skin, it helps to even your skin tone, it has 10% azelaic acid, fermented dragon's blood, lingonberry and CBD. This is the Glow Serum. Maz said this one is fantastic because she has dry skin. This is the product that has the highest concentration of CBD out of all of their products. It's an oil-based serum that has licorice root extract and it's great for giving that glow to the skin and it also has bakuchu oil in it. Next up we have the Must Mist which is great throughout the day. You can also use it as a prep spray before you apply your moisturizers and serums. It has the CBD in it. It also has hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, aloe vera. It also also protects against blue light. Moving on to body care, this is the Whip, also by Mantle. This is a CBD body cream made from 99% natural ingredients. It also contains shea butter and hyaluronic acid, jojoba and vitamin E. Next up we have another Swedish brand, this is the Foreo Luna 4. The idea is this gives you a really deep clean but it's super gentle on the skin. So not only does this remove makeup and dirt from the skin and it's a hygienic way to do so, you can pair it with an app on your phone and you can use different massage patterns. You can take it into the shower because it's waterproof and it has up to 600 uses through one charge. This restoring balm is incredible. You use it twice a week. It smells amazing and the idea is that it will restore your skin's barrier. So if you're using products like Actives and your barrier's compromised, this is great. It also targets fine lines and wrinkles to smooth the skin and it's based on an ancient Indian medicine which relies on natural and holistic approaches to health and well-being. And lastly we have this brand which is kind of like a filler in a bottle so if you don't want injectables and you want to use a skincare based product try this. It's a new generation of vitamin C combined with tioxane RHA resilient hyaluronic acid to combat pigmentation, loss of firmness and revives a dull complexion. Then I had to leave Maz because I had to get to my next appointment which was across town to the Laura Mercier event. This was to celebrate the launch of the Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. Upon arrival we had our personalised little keychains and there will make a party on hand to do a shade match for you. I believe there's around 32 shades available in this foundation. It's very lightweight, it looks super natural on the models which I'll show you shortly. It's suitable for all skin types including sensitive skin, it's vegan, it's fragrance free, it's non-comedogenic, it's dermatologically tested, it blurs the look of imperfections, pores, fine lines and it has a 12 hour wear. It's also humidity, sweat and waterproof and it also helps to control oil which is great because I'm oily combination. We didn't have a lot of space so I couldn't film her actually colour matching me but the shade I got was cashew for my winter skin and this was my non-alcoholic mocktail. So, thrilled to have you here, excited to show you on the product. Thank, Thank you. you. First off, how's everyone doing? Good. 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 Excited? Mm -hmm. 
how nice is it that the sun's shining outside as well? I feel like the weather has blessed us today. The sun's shining, it's nice and bright and gold and white in here. And we are so, so, so excited to introduce you to our newest addition to our complexion family, Real Flawless Foundation. Has anyone tried it yet? Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to use our hydrating primer. Have any of you tried any Laura Mercier primers before? Which one's your favourites? Yeah. This one, the illuminating one. This is my personal favourite and I was saying this morning, it works beautifully for this foundation because it just gives that perfect canvas for the foundation to go on top of. Um, and you know what, can you remember a time when people didn't really believe in primer, they didn't know what it did, and we know that it makes such a difference, and it does improve the lay down of this foundation. Any other primers work perfectly, um, I'd recommend for anyone with an oily skin, the blurring primer is really beautiful, and the illuminating if you want to get a, a bit more of a, uh, a glow. The texture of it, Jess is going to show you something in a second, it's super lightweight, so it almost feels like just um, sometimes it's like a dry oil consistency. So that's kind of what we're looking for, especially going to summer. We don't want to feel like we've got heavy makeup on. It just perfects the skin in a really light, light texture. So very, very liquidy, almost water based, very serum like, I think. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Um, we've also launched a new brush with this as well. So this is the Real Flawless brush. It's precisely cut at an 18 degree angle. I know that's a really specific <laughs> number, but apparently it's really important. I don't know what 20 degrees would have done. Um, but it's a teardrop shape, so you can get right into the nooks and crannies of the face. I'm gonna get Anita to turn her head slightly to the side. So I like to start from the outside in, so you can just control the amount of coverage that you get. And you can kind of stamp the foundation on with this brush, and it just pushes it seamlessly into the skin. Now one of the key things about this foundation is that it's 85% skincare ingredients. So it's that real fusion between makeup and skincare. So as soon as you apply from the very first sweep, you can actually notice how it just brightens the undertones immediately. Yeah. The easiest thing to achieve as well. It just keeps that real dewy glowiness to the skin. And I'm going to give it like a bit of a news, but basically what I'm using now is something that is going to come up very soon. So bear in mind it's a moisturizer blusher, but I'm using this moisturizer bronzer. So we're actually coming out with a liquid black bronzer formula. It's going to be freaking amazing, let's be honest. So great if you say like love underpainting or like any kind of technique that involves any kind of like soft sculpting. And so you get the plethora of different setting powders and finishing powders that you can use. I'm going to use another new product that you won't have seen yet. Um, I've fallen in love with this. It's a new Real Flawless Finishing Powder. Um, it is coming out in a few weeks' time. Presses it in, it's going to keep the dewiness where we want it, right the areas, right above the brow, sides of the nose. We can minimise the shine there, but we want to keep the nice glowiness everywhere else. So I'm just rolling and pressing it in. After the demonstration on the different skin types and the different ages, it was really great to see the foundation looked fantastic. So then it was time to have our afternoon tea. It wasn't a traditional afternoon tea, it was more like a lunch, but it was still fantastic. The food was beautiful. Having already eaten when I met Maz, I wasn't particularly starving, so I just picked at some of the food. We also received a personalised Laura Mercier bag that had some goodies in it, which I will show you. We received a top up of their cult classic translucent powder. In the bag was the new foundation brush to go with the new foundation. This looks so good, it's so soft and I can't wait to try it. By the way, I will link all the products I've shared today in the description bar for you. We also received one of their hydrating primers. I love the Laura Mercier primers. Although I wasn't starving, there was definitely room for some dessert and their cake was beautiful. I was the only one on the table that was adamant that this chocolate cake really tasted coffee-like, but there was a lot of coffee drinkers there that said that they couldn't even taste coffee. Hi Crystal! Welcome to the suite. We're going to the suite of dreams. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> So now we're at the Sanderson Hotel in the Penthouse to attend the Suite of Dreams. This is the Feather and Down event by Claire Ford. Feather and Down are the UK's number one sleep brand. They sell a sleep mist for your pillow that's really, really popular. The brand is made in England and it's vegan friendly and cruelty free. And the fragrance is a signature scent that's carefully blended with lavender and chamomile essential oils. And as soon as you smell it, you know it's that brand. Claire Ford is the PR company that hosted the event and they put on this most beautiful suite of dreams. They were doing hand massages, back massages, they had a bath filled with warm water and candles just to give that invigorating scent and they also had Dr Lindsay Browning who is a sleep expert on hand for a Q&A. 
Not to mention these yummy goodies. I think I always get more excited about the food at these events than the actual products, but these were so tasty and the drinks were lovely. These were the alcoholic ones. And then over here we had the non-alcoholic ones, which is what Kristen and I opted for. Sleep is a big topic in our house because Tommy struggles with sleep. Whereas I'm quite the opposite, I don't struggle to sleep at all, I go out like a light. So this was really interesting because I got to ask Dr Lindsay all about sleep so I could pass the information on to Tommy. Sleep and Down do so many different sets so I will link their website below if you're interested in trying it. I really like their sleep salts that you put in the bath, those always send Tommy off to sleep so well. Crystal and I spent quite a bit of time at this event. We waited a little while for the hand massages. So Crystal sat there and actually meditated while she had her hand massaged. And I believe that they used the nourishing night hand cream to do this. It smelled divine. Good night. <laughs> 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 we could do what I was. Let's do what I was. Dee Rem. Chris was trying everything at the event. Put your roller on. Should have done this before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on to the natrium event this is definitely less our speed now that we are slightly older this was more of a party and it was definitely full of what i refer to as the new age influencers so we only took a quick stop here we got a drink we looked at some of the products and then we made our way to go and get some pizza Guys, and then I'm gonna get a pizza. <laughs> 